What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a little get ready with me for my baby shower. I'm actually headed out the door right now, but I did this makeup look that I feel, feel really good about. I used some new products, which was a little risky, but I think it ended up paying off. Um, I think you guys will like this one. And this makeup look should last you like all day. It's gonna be 90 degrees out today. And I'm praying that I did enough setting spray and enough primers and use the right products to make this last all day. So if you wanna see how I got this look right here, then keep on watching. So today is my baby shower. Like what? How are those words even leaving my mouth? I feel like a lot of people have gotten pregnant recently. This is gonna be like a really good all day, not gonna move, like I'm planning on really making this last makeup look. So I'm gonna use a few primers. I just went on with my Benefit Pore Professional. And I think I'm also gonna do the Dewy Foundation Grip Ultra Glow from Urban. I washed and blow dried my hair this morning. I just did my bangs because I'm gonna curl the rest of my head. So Hollywood Flawless Filter, shade three. I haven't used this in so long. I actually just got this in because I'm gonna be filming a full face of Charlotte Tilbury this week. And they sent me a ton of goodies. I'm so excited to use everything. I'm actually gonna use some of it today because I can't wait, but I absolutely love this product. Look at this glow that this gives. I'm in my new apartment. Did I say that yet? So I'm still on the floor because I haven't gotten to vanity yet. It's honestly like last on my list. I need to get um, the baby stuff done first. So I'm gonna be spraying my face with my Morphe setting spray probably throughout this makeup application. I'm gonna use my Airbrush Flawless. Again, number three from Charlotte. I'm worried this is gonna be a little light only because I got a spray tan. So I may have to mix this with something else, but this foundation is such good coverage and it lasts. Yeah, I think I am gonna mix it with my Rare Beauty 210N. So I put both on the back of my hand, grab my sponge, let's see. It's like a little bit lighter than I wanna be, but oh my God, the application is stunning. I am looking for coverage today because I don't feel like my skin is doing the best right now. I have this little breakout right here. It's like very annoying. All right, for concealer, I feel like my NARS just, I think it's better for a more full coverage look. The Illy is really good for just like a pop it on every day, brightens. I just feel like the NARS is a little bit more, it's gonna stay put a little bit better. Another mist. So yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, we just moved into this apartment this week. So I am not fully unpacked. Like my makeup is the last thing to be unpacked. So I just ordered the Carly Bible Il Maquillage collab. I saw her using it in her video and I was like, I gotta get that. So I'm gonna try this today. It's probably risky to try something new on my baby shower day, but look how freaking pretty this is. Also got a lipstick and a lip liner, which I also might try, but let's set my face. I'm gonna use Hourglass. I just really wanna pack it on so that it lasts. I'm gonna pop all my brows off camera and I want them sculpted a little bit more than I have, so it's gonna take a minute. Put my brows on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Brows are on. I think this is the bronzer right here. I like this. I think it looks good. I think I might need to go over it with my Heart. I just want it a teeny bit more neutral. It's like a touch warmer than I want it to be. Do you see what I mean? Like it's a teeny, I don't want to say orange, but it's just a little bit warm on its own. When I pop on the Park Ave on top of it, first of all, it's so smooth, but you can see it kind of neutralizes it a bit. See how I brought it down too far right here. Do you guys see that? Just grab my sponge and kind of clean that up. I can use this flat edge to just clean that up and then I'll just pat it all in. Just makes it look like that much more flawless, like just that one step. I'm just gonna bronze my neck a little bit with a big fluffy. I'm just gonna use this guy, grab my Park Ave again. And I just wanna contour my nose just a touch. So do a little under. This is gonna shorten up my nose and then a little bit of color on either side. I need a coffee. You see how that just kind of, first of all, I feel like it pulls things together because you have the bronzer on my face, but I just feel like it helps make the nose just look a little slimmer. Then I'm just gonna dip into my powder. I'm gonna use the flat edge of my sponge and I'm just gonna make sure this is as snatched as possible. This will help with eyeshadow. 
And I'm also gonna do here. There we go. Exclamation point on the nose. I'll leave this to bake for a bit. I'm very excited about this blush because the color just looks so freaking pretty. Oh my God, yes. It has like a purpley undertone. I wanna make sure not to get my translucent powder off, but isn't that so pretty? I will add more at the end. But now I know this shade is good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that blush on my eyeshadow brush and pop that on the lid. Figuring this out as I go. I am wearing like a mauve peachy pinky dress. Did I show you? This is the Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte. I freaking love this palette. I always use it. The shades are just very good. I'm actually gonna grab this brown liquid. No, it's not liquid. It's a brown cake pencil from Kat Von D. I feel like I need something a little more stable than an eyeshadow as eyeliner because I, ju I just think it's gonna fall off throughout the day and I need the shiz not to move. Okay, we did eyeliner a little thicker than I expected to. And Ethan's watching The Office out there without me, rude. Obviously, we'll be taking a bunch of photos today and I just feel like when I don't do like an eyeliner or even like, like an eyelash would actually be really good today. I don't know if I have the balls to do it. <laughs> Photos, like when I have eyeliner on, I just feel like, you know, it, I just look better. I don't love wearing eyeliner like every day, but for events, I think it just makes my whole face look better, like from far away when you're in photos. Makes the eyes pop, defines the eyes. <laughs> you get, you get it. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex for mascara. This is the waterproof one. I'm hoping it helps like with sweat, so I don't like sweat it off, but I don't really know. I actually think I like the regular formula better, but I'm pretty low on that one right now. Let's see if I can pop that on top. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so my camera died, but it's charging. I'm gonna finish my makeup in a minute. I took the opportunity of my camera dying to do my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it like wavy like this. I was contemplating maybe like pulling it back and doing some kind of braid. I don't know, I think I'm overcomplicating it and I think I like how it looks down. I did this whole style with my straightener. It's super, super simple. Um, I have a tutorial on it, I will link, but I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so I got this from Grande. I assumed it was a lip, lip exfoliator. It is, I just got this kind of wet and I just exfoliated my lips. Let me just flip the camera. I'm telling you right now, my lips have never been smoother. They've never had less dead skin. I can't, I mean, it fizzed. I don't know what this is. I don't understand what this is. It fizzed, I just rubbed like this. The dead skin came off, kind of made a mess in my sink and I was like, I don't know what this is. Is this staining my lips? It didn't really stain them, maybe a little bit, but I'm putting lipstick on anyway, so I don't care. But wow, I just had to show you guys and tell you about this because Look at my lips. They're like baby soft. You can see like when it gets wet, it like fizzes up. I'm going to link this in case I'm hoping you can buy it. They sent it to me, but like I've never used a lip exfoliator like this in my entire life. Okay, we're back. I curled my hair. Um, my camera died and then it wasn't really charging. So I don't know how long this battery is gonna last. I'm gonna try and get all this done before my battery dies on me. I think I might try the Bible lip liner. Ooh, it looks pretty. This is the shade waterproof lip liner in the shade AI. Let's see. I think it's gonna be good. What do you guys think? I think that's honestly perfect. It's nice and neutral. It's not too dark. It's not too warm of a shade. It's like a neutral mauve nude. It's gliding on really nicely. This is the shade Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. I actually think this is gonna be so good. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. You guys think about that. I'm gonna put a gloss on top, but I feel like the tones are perfect for this makeup look. This is definitely a matte lipstick, which should help it last all day. And I'm not mad at that. Okay, so I ended up using a couple Charlotte Tilbury products to finish off this look. My camera died, but um, I'm actually filming that video this week, so I will test honey. I will test everything out on camera for you guys, so it's on honestly better that you didn't see it yet. Okay, so that was my filming setup, but here's the dress. I'm obsessed with it. It's perfect for this big belly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. All my products that I used in this video will be linked below. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.